<laughs> I, I like, um, I, by accident, and I just like press the, uh, the power uh, off. So you can see what I'm talking about. Like I'm still getting back up to speed mentally to do that. But you know, like the, the money that two people put together as a resource and for while they're married or while they're living together, um, what happens is, which is unfortunate, is that some people really do try to use money as leverage. And this is like usually with narcissistic personalities, is that money becomes like a big tool for manipulation. So those are the power plays that you usually see when you're dealing with that kind of thing. So in terms of um, how this all may be playing out, remember this is the challenge position. So something may be getting in the way of a new love coming in or blossoming because you're fighting this battle. And like I say, sometimes people use that um, as a way to get other people to to like be under their control. And if you're not addicted to money, then nobody can ever own you. And so I want you just to remember that because you can always just walk away and, and maintain your independence and your dignity and move on with your life. And uh, even if sometimes people may not um, contribute financially to like a business and the other party started the business but they contributed in terms of time and effort. Um, so if your partner has a business and you want to be compensated um, when you're divorced because you argue that you worked for the business for free for quite a while, but you were like, you were thinking, hey, we're in it together now. And then when, when, uh, you split up, he or she wants to just have it all to themselves. Well, that may be true, but remember that the longer that you fight, the more you are attached to this other person. And if they are truly toxic, it might not be worth it. What is coming in is represented by the Nine of Swords. You may be feeling a sense of anxiety and it might be a free floating anxiety that you can't put your fingers on this is the card of insomnia but really um, in the Rider weight deck there's a great picture and I I was so glad to read a an interpretation of it where it talked about how the the bedspread had these flowers on it and it was supposed to uh, symbolize that it was actually a peaceful, that the person wasn't really under duress. It was their own making. And you have to remember that swords relate to thought. Okay, so the number nine in the Major Arcana is the Hermit card. So there's a kind of an aloneness with the number nine. And this means that the Nine of Swords is you being alone with your thoughts. And when you're alone with your thoughts, they may start to mushroom. And one thought leads to the next, and that's where the anxiety, because it becomes racing thoughts, and, and you start to, like, you know, um, getting a, uh, get anxiety. And really, it's about thinking too much. So it's something that you can control if you really put your mind to it. Because if you're like, okay, and, and you're going to accept whatever outcome happens for you, 
if there's some kind of a situation with a former party, then you don't have anything to fear. And you can get on with your life. You should be happy to know that the outcome of this reading is the Four of Pentacles, which is like, uh, even though this is an earthy energy, I associate this with Cancer because this is a card of being a good money manager and being really in control. You see how the person's holding on to their finances. But sometimes even in the upright position, this is somebody who's holding on maybe a little bit too tightly to their to their um, resources. But for Cancer, it's you thinking, um, I'm saving for a rainy day. And you really believe that you have to be prepared because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and that's where, that's where the Nine of uh, Swords comes because if there's anybody that says, what if, what if this happens? What if that happens? It's cancer, very like a worry wart. But what I want to direct you to is the Ace of Cups. Because this is the spiritual message, and I think that um, new love prevails for you. And even if you have to deal with something relatively unpleasant with a former partner, that you have that to look forward to. So that's good. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this cancer. And if you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have an awesome February. Bye.